if, uh, if I'm in this sit position, I don't know if you picked up kind of like a weak area. If I'm, if, if I'm here, a weak area would be, I'm pretty strong over here, but he's got most of his forces coming this way, right? Whichever way he wants to take you, you go the opposite, right? Whichever way he wants to take you, you go the opposite. He is always gonna take me that way, to the arm chop side. That's to the left, which way do I wanna go? I'm going the other way, all right? I'm just going the other way. So here we go. All right, you're gonna take me that way, I'm gonna go this way, ready, go. So I've got to have some little thing that's going to help me to go against the way he wants to take me. So, remember how we tucked and we tucked? There's one thing that can help me from getting knocked down here. So here we go. I'm getting knocked down. I can do, go ahead, knock me down. This is going to take me to principle number four. Probably you've been taught to get wrist control down there, correct? Some of you may have. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think the wrist control is a good idea. Because what I want to do is, when I'm about, I want to use my hands to do this. I'm strong here. Okay? So, I have a hand to stop me. That's the good news. Here's the not so good news. That hand is only going to work for about a, uh, about a second. Okay? So here we go. Ready? Go. I'll eventually cave, but it will stop me. That's enough. As long as it stops me momentarily, that is enough. So this is what I'm doing. I am going to go, as he goes to chop me, I'm going to do this. But I'm not only doing this. As I put my hand down, I'm going to bring my opposite foot back to my butt. So I never, I don't want to just be here. And the reason is, my butt weighs 300 pounds. I can't move it, no matter how much I want to move, I can't move it. I just can't do it. But if I do this, now I can move my butt easily, okay? And that's good, because now I can, I can shift my body to where I want. Now from here, we're going to shift, okay? We're going to do this, call it changeover move. We are going to put three things right there. My hand probably makes a little bit of a handprint on the mat. I'm going to put three things where that handprint is, and I'm going to change hands. So I'm going to put this foot, this foot, and my hip over there on that hand, and it's going to look like this. So what did I do? He goes and chop me. I've got to do this. If I do this, I can't move anything. When I move this foot in, I can. I then lift my hips up, shift my hips over, and tuck both feet. My feet kind of come out around in front to there. Does this look familiar at all right here? Hang on me. Hang on. That's it. So I have done this. I have effectively fought off his chop, kept me from going down the mat. I've got my hips over to that side, and I've also gone the opposite way from where he wants me to go. So that's good. That's really good.